I've had people in the past ask me, are there any Transformers I prefer to stay in their alternate modes? Yeah, you're looking at one. From Transformers Cybertron, this is the Scout Class Scrap Metal. And when you look at him, this is just a terrific alternate mode. I mean, obviously, nothing on Earth is like this, but this is just a cool spider tank. Before Shockwave became a spider tank, mind you. This is Cybertron. This is like 2004, 2005. And I love the shapes here. I love the pointy legs. I love the general, like, spikiness of it all. The cockpit's great. I even love the big gun chair up top. There's even a lot of good posability here. You have a ball joint here and a ball joint here, and you can get this side to side. You have a ball joint here, a ball joint here, and back and forth. A swivel at the chair and a swivel at the gun. And if you want to unhook things, you can even have the cockpit articulate like this thing is an animal. Here, let me... Yeah, there we go. You can get him like have some weird emotion, almost like this is someone's pet. This is a great alternate mode. So much fun to mess with. It is honestly one of my favorite things to pull down off my Cybertron shelf and just toy around with, especially when you bust out the Cyber Planet Key. This is not the Cyber Planet Key he would have come with, but, uh, you know, it's the one I have on hand. And you plug it in. Okay, you ready for this? Watch. Oh, there we go. Took a second. Yeah, he just has a massive bayonet. So it's like, oh, he shot you. Well, now he's going to run at you and he's going to knife you. He's going to knife you and knife you and knife you. In fact, here, who can who can be stabbed? Uh, here. Ugh. Stab him. Ugh. Ugh. Screw you, trail cutter. Ugh. There. He's dead. Seriously, with how much personality this thing has, I'm kind of surprised it's not just a toy of this thing. Maybe there were miniatures, or maybe it transforms into something else. Maybe it goes from, like, a car into this thing. I love this mode, which is weird when it just stands up and becomes a dude. Okay, so we have our boy Scrap Metal here, right? So to transform him, we're going to do like this and then fold this down. It is somewhat stiff. Oh, my apologies. We're going to fold it up. And then we're going to fold the gun around, bring it up. And then, yeah, you can kind of see where we're going with this. These pieces come down here and form the pelvis. There we go. And then we already have our shoulders up here made. We're just going to fold these back and make the hands. Also, I, I have not neglected to say this. I love the colors on this guy. He reminds me of like a wasp or a hornet. Okay. Ah, come on. It's kind of catching on itself. And then, boom, we have everything locked in. And yeah, we went from having an incredibly, incredibly cool tank mode to a dude who just looks like his name would be like, I don't know, Tom or Gary. There are things to like here. I love the light piping of the head. The head's a very generic design, but I do like the light piping. And I like how the legs can be folded down and turned into like little little weapons. Like, that's cool. And then the big shoulder-mounted cannon. Sure, that's awesome. Deco is still great throughout. It's just, I don't know, there's no character here. I'll be honest. When I was a kid, I daydreamed of army building scrap metals. Because they did three different versions of him. There was the yellow one, the red one, and the blue one. And my daydream was I would get Megatron, and I would have a tidal wave, and then I'd have an army of scrap metals, and they would be protecting tidal wave. Because I was a kid, I didn't have tidal wave, I assumed he'd be massive. Like, in my head, he'd be the size of, like, the G.I. Joe USS flag. And I had all these vivid daydreams of just an army of scrap metals going up and down the bridge. I think if you wanted to use a scrap metal as a drone unit... He's perfect. I actually like him more for that than the Viacons, because he is such a small character and such a generic looking character, and his vehicle mode is so good, I think that he works better as a drone unit. But as his own dude? No, not really. Posability is pretty standard for the day. You have a swivel here at the gun, you have a swivel at the head, you have a ball joint, ball joint here in the elbow as well. Uh, also, guys, a bit gorilla armed, as you can see. Nothing in the waist. Ball join the hip. Ball join the knee, and back and forth at the foot. So it's not like you can't pose this guy. You absolutely can, especially if you want to use these like knives, as I said. Um, it's just uh, again, there's not much to really set him out from the pack, 
aside from the knowledge of what his alternate mode is. And what's even worse is the gimmick is still here. Cyber Planet Key. So maybe he's shooting at the guy, right? Like, boom, boom, boom. And then that doesn't work, and it's like, okay, boom. You see, that's just dumb. <laughs> that's just really dumb for a robot, okay? When you were a tank, sure. But look at this, the knife is going, like, 15 feet in front of him. Like, good God. What, what? Oh, 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 no. I fell forward. Why does everybody complain about Armada's smokescreen when this guy's doing the same thing, but dumber, with a knife in front of his own face? Like, it's goofy, I like it. But come on, let, let, let's be honest here. It was cooler when he was a tank with a knife. It's just science, okay? Tank with knife is cooler than guy with knife. I mean, undeniably, he's a cool figure. I'm having a lot of fun with scrap metal. It really is just the unfortunate fact that there's not a lot going for him. He has a great color scheme, again, color scheme to die for, like, mwah, chef's kiss. But that can't get past the fact that this is a very generic body, and if you don't believe me, go check out the blue uh, scrap metal or the red scrap metal. They don't look anywhere near as good as this guy, and it's because yellow and black just really go well together. But you want to know the weirdest thing about this guy? He's not called scrap metal in Japan. In Japan, he's called a rabble. Rabble is Rumble's Japanese name. This is supposed to be Cybertron Rumble. So hey, if you have Cybertron Soundwave and want a blue Rumble to go with him, be ready to spend a horrible amount of money for this toy in blue because the blue Rumble was only released in Japan and there's only a few hundred of them in the world and it's kind of crazy. Or you could just be like me and daydream of a day in which you can have an entire fake battleship filled with weird little spider tanks. And maybe, just maybe, if I can achieve that dream, my dad will finally say he's proud of me. Just kidding, my dad's dead. Oh, I... What is this? What is any of this? What is any of this? <laughs> okay. Sometimes with these toys, you just have to, 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 to look for the things to laugh at. And, oh, look at that. We're at the 8 minute mark. So, yay! I got where I needed to go. <laughs> Forget you, Scrap Metal. You didn't help me at all to get to the time limit, dude. Ah! I win.